wait, 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 now, wait, at least now. Let my mother come back from the market. Just for her to follow us and know where you're taking me to, that's all. Chai! So we now look like men that runs the motherless baby so is it? I believe now. I believe you know. But for you see what's it Let us go. Let's 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 go. let us go Hey, Jesus. Sorry, sorry, open Open Oh, my dear, I knew that wrong. It wasn't intentional. It wasn't intentional. Open up, Open Oh, my dear, I I farted out of here, please. That what? So, you were fighting for us who held this sorrow, bitch? Bitch. Sorry. Come on, move it. Well, well, well. Finally, the best pound wine tapper is here. Do you know who I am? Yes, sir. You are the unknown. Honor with your hand. The second in command to the Igwe. I'm the king of this village. And what do I do? Mm, you assist the Igwe in his duties and represent him when he's not around. And what else? I don't know. I am the official supplier of palm wine to the palace. Our Igwe does not drink anything but palm wine, and so do his guests, because it's the only thing he entertains them with. I know, sir. I know because I supply the Igwe palm wine too, when he tested my wine and liked it. That is the point. That is the point. I supply palm wine to the Igwe at whatever price I want, and he pays. Then, I don't know how he tested your wine. I don't know how you came to the palace with your wine. Since then, I have met bad business. I came to the palace when I heard that uh, our Igwe drinks nothing but pan wine. So I just came, you know, I just wanted him to have a taste of my tapping nazo. Oh, and you put something in the palm wine that turned his brain around since he drank it. No. That all he does is reject the wine that I supplied and ask for yours. No. He even refuses to pay well for the one he asked me to supply for his guest. You kill my business. Now, let me ask you. Is there no way job? Am I paid any type of salary? You will kill you and dump you in the bush. And people will think it's a wild animal that oh. did it on your way from tapping wine. No, please, 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 oh, please. Oh, I did not know in my life that supplying pan wine to the Igwe will destroy your business. I did not know. I didn't have an idea at all. Please, I promise you. Please, if you let me go this once, I will never supply pan wine again to the palace in my life. You will not even see me again in the palace. Not me, not my drink. Please, 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 please. Oh no, please. What gain will my death be to you? A lot of good. It will do me a lot of good. Hey. A lot. Please, I won't do it again. And God will bless you, please. Now, whip him as a warning and let him go. Oh. Oh. Please. Oh, please. Move him. Now. Hey! Sando. Move him. Hey! Move him. I talk a motor abono, you catch a boy, you get booba. Never moon, eh? Well, never moon, a corner. Abu Pama, dad, Mamma, you get booba. Hey, you get booba. You catch a boy, you get booba. Ebu Pama, Mamma, you get booba. Hey, you get booba. Get you, boy, get boo, 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 boo
Ancestors who will visit him. I don't want the spirit of your late father. We will visit him. He did this because your father is no more, no one. And there is nobody to speak for us. No? Huh? So that it will wreak vengeance and havoc on his household. You have been selling power wine without the ego. We don't need the Igbo. Hmm? You have been selling power wine in the marketplace. And the money you make there is enough for us to live on. You will still sell power wine in the market. Your father was the best. So are you. The best. Mama. Huh? I'm a university graduate. I know. Sorry, sorry. Okay, can I for me, Henka? Why can't I get a job? What sin have I committed that God cannot forgive? It will seem to you as if you Ay! committed a sin. Sorry, oh. A sin that God cannot forgive. But he knows best. God knows best one. Yeah? Maybe he is keeping you in this village. So that no harm will come to you in the city. Mama, huh? let him take me to the city and remove the harm. Huh? I want to get a job to earn a decent living. I want to take care of you, not this kind of life. Huh? There, you will not be the ah, best. Well, well. You will not be the best there now. Because, huh? Yeah, you're the best. You're the best. And for you to be the best in a village like this is still a good thing. Let me tell you, never you go near the palace again. You know what I am? Don't go near there. Let the owner who supply all the pan wine. His payback time is coming. Huh? God is watching him.
the king's daughter has arrived the boundaries of this village. I must inform the king immediately. It's a very little ple pleasant surprise. You know, <laughs> you know this hard girl. She said she wouldn't come. So I almost cursed the gods for allowing our daughter to get lost. But today, she's here. <laughs> I will die a happy man. Ibo <laughs> Caribbean son is waiting. The match will be perfect. And your son will rule in your place. I pray that your first baby will be a boy. Because I don't want my daughter to end up like me. Who had only one girl. Ah, there you go. No, no. Today is a happy day. Today is not a sad day. Now tell me. How do I look? Real. <laughs> How do I look my king? Oh, regal. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, magnificent. <laughs> oh, yes. My dear, how I wish you were still of childbearing age. Oh, I swear by what I see before me that this day, after our daughter has been feasted, or that I will make you pregnant with a male child because you look so incredibly delectable, <laughs> like a green leaf. Oh. Let our daughter and the husband do the rest. I'm past shy very now, and however, my king, I want to thank you for this praises you showered on me and on your sexual prowess. <laughs> 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 wow, so things like this still exist? Oh my god, I've been good for 20 years and the luck hasn't changed, you know? Amazing. Driver, please stop the car. Hi. Your work is interested, I must say. Who? Me? Mm -hmm. That is a princess of this land. Bow to her. Oh. My name. My friend, bow properly to the princess. Oh, oh my me? God. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God, this man is so funny. Just leave him alone. Tell hey, him. hey, never mind. Oh gosh, just leave him alone. Never mind. I'm about very well. Oh. <laughs> ah. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the Igwe's only daughter that traveled to that traveled abroad at the age of eight or something? My God, you look so big and beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> This man is so funny. Who is he? Uh, my princess, he is a palm wine tapper. The best. The one the king likes to drink his palm wine, most of all. Wow. So, why will a young man like you be tapping palm wine in this village? I thought it was for older people to do. Ah, my princess, I'm a graduate. 
though my father was a pan wine tapper and taught me very well, but <laughs> I wouldn't be tapping pan wine if I had landed a job in the city. So I spent seven years roaming the street looking for a job, but no show. When I got tired of living with my girlfriend and having her feed me and pay every bill, I returned back to this village to take care of my old mother and ply the trade of my late father, just to make both ends meet. And wow. I have to be going back now. Oh, yeah. um, I'll just hold on. Um, take some money. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want you to bring me some palm wine to the palace tomorrow morning. Please, $500. Yeah. US dollars. The princess paid me this money for palm wine. Mama, this five hundred dollars is seventy-five thousand naira in our money. Hey, Mama, even if I bring seventy-five thousand naira worth of palm wine for them, would they have care enough to even keep them? Mama, the palm wine will become sour because they cannot finish seventy-five thousand naira worth of palm wine in three days. Except the king has a feast. How many palm trees are you tapping at the moment? Seven. Hey, sir. Yes, ma'am. One, two, three, four. Ah. So, Ikechuku, even if you tap uh, 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 20 palm trees in one day, will you be able to, to tap 75,000 naira worth of your own palm wine? It's not possible, Ikechuku. Hey, Mama, I'll be, I'll be tapping it more, more and sending to you as much more. Okay, Chuku, I'm afraid, though. I'm afraid. Afraid of Yes. Afraid of no one. Yes. Because of his threats. Uh -huh. Return that money. Return it. This money? Yeah. Is it possible? Mama, are they possible not me with Yega? No, it's not possible. Hey! Mama. What I've been planning for since two years now to go and see my fiance in the city. I want to go and see Chima. I'm not returning this money because when I go there, I want to be the man for once. I want to be the one that is paying the bills, that is paying for shopping and food. Mama, Imaro, to be a man, eh? not be a day's job. I am going to supply. Some cakes of my wine to the princess in the morning tomorrow. If you know who likes, let him kill me. I won't move himself. You ah. don't want to return the money to the princess and no hmm. find a way. Mama, I will not. Or you put in your mother sugar on or boy, a bopia. Eh? You know, when you are on with Brabanya. You know, when you are on with Brabanya.
Dancers, singers, um, drummers, all of them. You go to the kitchen. Tell them to kill the fattest cow, the fattest goat, the fattest chicken. Oh, go! You go around the town. Tell them that our princess, my daughter, is back. Go, 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 go! Oh, we are going to have one hell of a party. I miss you so much. Jim, I can't wait till you last home. We are going to have one hell of a party. Yeah. supply the wine of the boy? Yes, is it? I supplied it. Oh. It is the evening palm wine. Very special. Mm. Mm. I wish the boy would supply more often. Uh, I mean, partner with you in the supply. He has a way of bringing better palm wine. You will. Mm. I will work together with him. Good. 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 <laughs> oh, the gods have indeed smiled on us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, I will never have thought that they would make it at such short notice. Oh, your father-in-law is here. son with him will 
will, will be the successor to this, to this throne. So you see, the crown prince will rule Obo, and uh, the, the second prince will rule Obozu with you until your son comes of age, when he takes over the throne. Shall we welcome them? You have your father's blood. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a character in an adventure book. A heroine who journeys from the kingdom of the white people to the kingdom of the black people. Mm. Where a charming prince awaits her. So you consider me charming? Yes. You are. You are handsome. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So what about you? Tell me. Are you enjoying the hospitality of our people? Oh, of course. Every bit of it. Every bit. You wait till you taste our palm wine. That's the legacy which my people are known for. Mm. 
Well, I had palm wine yesterday and uh, nothing irregular, nothing special. Just wait here. Did anybody supply palm wine to this palace this morning? No, no, I met a certain tattered and a dirty young tupper yesterday on my way back. Who among you was in my convoy? Do you remember who I'm talking about? Uh, I do remember who you're talking about, my princess. I was on your convoy and I saw him. Good. Do you know how to find him? Yes, my princess. I know where he lives. Very good. Take to servants. Go fetch him. Bring him here. He's owing me some palm boy. Okay, my princess. Um, uh -huh. Please uh, help me. Eh? Take this girl to the princess. Please tell her that I'm sorry for not coming myself. What's the meaning of this? Huh? Don't you know it's an instant for you to send one keg of palm wine to the princess? Instead of you coming there yourself to explain. And why just a keg of palm wine? I was there yesterday and I saw everything. The money the princess gave you was so much. Do you know that the money the princess gave this man was so much to get more than a keg? Imagine that! How come he can get just a keg? Eka Chuku. Mama. What is the matter? Mama, nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Um, uh, please, eh? My wine was overbooked. That's why I didn't get much you know, for the princess. Please. That is not our business. You still have to come with us. Okay. Um, let us go. Mama. Uh, let me go and see the princess and explain something to her. Uh, the Hi. how to behave or is this how to show responsibility you were given money to supply palm wine to this palace this morning but you take the money and ignore the reasons why you were given the money i am a trifle disappointed because you look so responsible i'm in sorry my princess please forgive me this is not the way i normally behave what happened was that before you gave me the money my palm wine was already overbooked but you are a princess. And that was the first time I ever set my eyes on you. That was the first time you ever asked me for a favor. So I couldn't fail you or refuse you. All my efforts to talk the people that made their bookings earlier out of their bookings failed. Only this keg was available. So I brought it. But I promise to supply you palm wine every morning until your money is exhausted. Will you get out of our faces, you dog? Wait, are you by any means insinuating that the princess must wait at your whips and caprices while you supply at your own speed? No. Which horse gave birth to you and raised you? Have you no respect? 
Don't you know this is a princess, you poverty stricken god forsaken piece of rubbish? Emeka. You will supply all the palm wine you have tomorrow to her. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Good. Exactly what I said I would do. But it's just that you didn't understand me, sir. Are you a goat? No, seriously. Are you a goat or what? You dare interrupt me when I'm talking? And you open this your infected mouth to tell me I lack understanding? Emeka, that's enough! This man will refund your money double tomorrow if the palm wine he supplies is not enough to offset the money you paid him. Do you understand me, bush animal? I will teach you to answer a prince. Wait! Hey, i I always fat when I'm under tension, I'm sorry. Hey. Go home now. Supply me as much as you can tomorrow. For me and the guest I'll have, okay? okay. okay. And this time, do not fail. Thank you. Thank you. I will not fail. Thank you, my princess. Thank you. God bless your kind heart. Thank you. You. Take it. Get a jack and save us. Is it this job that I don't have that is affecting me or what? Huh? Can you imagine? If I were a bank manager now, will I be shivering under tension? And farting in front of a small boy like that? Huh? A boy that if... If they leave me and him alone in the bush, will up for two at Sion. Will up for two at Sion. Look, if that guy challenges me as a man to a man, I swear, I will use blows and scatter his mouth, nose and teeth. Huh? What is that? I'm angry. What kind of thing is this? Was he the one that gave me money? Is this money? Luko. Luko. Hey. Oh, God. Look. Is this how we are going to sit? I mean, each person not talking to the other? Okay, fine. I'd rather go to my room and sleep or go have a chat with my mom. I'm not going to waste my morning keeping malice over something that is your fault. Are you going to talk to me or not? Well, that's the way you want it. What do you want me to say? Do I know what I'll say now and you start to yell again? Mecca. That young man explained his problem. He said he was sorry, and that was it. Why do you have to treat him like that? Because he is a commoner. Yes. That is the best way commoners are treated. You keep them on their toes, prevent them from going wrong. No, please. Next time, allow me to handle my own issues. Because I will not have you behave like a monster and make other people think I'm the same way too. You will not have me. That is to say, you have authority over me. 
Are you giving me orders? What I said is what I have said. Because of who? Because of that bush village rat? Mecca, don't misquote me. I'm quite sure you've got brains and you understand what I mean. If you have a problem with the villager, you go straight to the point. You just say it's simple. You have no business abusing his conditions, whether poor or rich. And I would not have you talk to me in such manner. At least not when your servants are around. I will not take it. <laughs> he just walked out on me. Oh, yeah, I knew. Matchmaking. From nowhere, they just bring me a husband. How are we going to know each other? I mean, how are we going to understand each other? <laughs> That's Africa for you. I'm not going to allow that to happen. We have been laying ambush for you since I saw you walk into Igwe's compound. I was just beginning to think you sleep there. Mkwenu, teach this stubborn fly a lesson he will never forget in his life. This old man, <laughs> leave me alone, no. You will not allow me to drink peacefully in this village. I will not let you torment me again, no. Leave me alone, no. What I'm about to teach you is a lesson that you will not forget in a hurry. But a lesson that you will never ever forget in your life. I didn't do anything. Stay away from this. Come stop it. Don't you near me. I'm a tight old man. You have disgraced that title. I swear it does not fit you anymore. And it does not confine immunity on you anymore. Thank your age. I would have chased you right down to your house and dealt with you today. Let me see you stand in my way again in this village. And you will tell me whether it's a crime to be good in one's occupation. I'm a good power wanker. Inherited from my father. I don't know why you're having sleepless nights over this. Are you a devil? You regret this. Remember, I've still your no. Go to the ground and report me. No, you will not. Because you know what you're doing is not right. You will not run me out of this village. And I'm not going to run out of this village because of you. Do your business. Let me do my own. I'm not blocking your way. Before they get here, Bahagina, for what? I'm not, run. Run. I'm not running. No, because they are not. I won't run. It are no idea. Uh, enough is enough. We are finally here to show you Nana and Wobo. There are people who own this village. Okay, show me what. Oh, you think you were here for jokes? Yeah, boys. Pick him up so that he can leave my son alone. Stop it! 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 Stop Hey, so is your fellow for white tapas? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my God. Hey, Mama. Hey, I suspected that you know who would do something funny. Hey. So I informed them of my troubles, eh? I told them to stay close. Hi. Hey, Baga. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Strong man. Look, I'm proud of you all. Yes. I thank you all for all you have done for me. Eh? And you know what? I, look, you guys are wonderful. You walked according to plan. <laughs> By disguising yourself, oh no, will not know who you are. Yes. So he can't victimize you. Yes. You're safe. Yes. Eh? Let me prepare so that we we'll meet at this year and over oh, yes. yes. <laughs> And we will prove to them that the power wine tapas. Power wine tapas.
Christmas on this land. I get it. I look what you get you do. Uh, uh, that is how it should be. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, affection, interaction, friendship. and friendship. <laughs> you see? If you have any problem, I'll be there to share it. And when I have income, like for an hour, gaga. You see? And then one will leave. See, and life goes on. Yeah. You see? Life goes on. After all. How long does anyone want to live in this world mm. eh, before he dies and join the ancestors? See, I just pray that uh, our children, their children, and their children's children, children, children mm. eh, will continue with this uh, friendship, yes. even if we are caught eh, and join our ancestors. Bam. Amen. Ah. Amen. Amen. You have not said a word to each other. What is wrong? Oh, 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 they are in pain. Mm. Oh, you cannot bear the pain. <laughs> because they are parting. And parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh, they cannot bear it. <laughs> Both of you are not bright at all. At all. Not bright at all. They are not. Uh, you should oh, brighten up. Uh, you still have plenty of time to stay plenty. together plenty. after you've become husband and, and wife. And wife. Yes. Hmm? <laughs> uh, Emeka, you two should part properly. Okay, I know they are just having the normal lovers quarrel. <laughs> Love is like that. Love makes you fight, settle, and grow up. Fight is bad when you allow the third party in. Mm. That is the breaking point. So, brother, America. America, embrace your future wife. Oh, come on to her. Um, why don't we give them a few minutes together? Uh, maybe they can sort of uh, have a kiss. Or two. Mm? Mm? journey has begun. <laughs> oh, they love each other already. You can see it. I wish I were younger. <laughs> uh. in each other. What do we do next? Let's try some sweet honey and let's get more eggs. Sweets or realistic nothings. I like that. You start. 
Your heart is the pillow. This love is the bed. Hmm. If my heart is the pillow, this love is the bed. Okay. Now why? I want to stay connected with you. I want you in my heart's network. Can I have your number? 080-556677-8921 What was that? The number. My phone number. Oh, seriously? Okay. Let me save it. Gosh, I thought that was one sweet unrealistic nothing. Yeah, right. This is when did they start composing the sweet nothings with people's phone numbers. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my day. to overthrow you. I stumbled on it. I uncovered it. A hot plot to pull you down. Hmm. And uh, who is behind this? You won't believe it if I say his name. He looks harmless. But he is an ambitious fellow by every means. He has completed plans to poison you. He has been putting small, small poison in your palm wine to kill you slowly. Have you not been feeling weak lately? Yes. Yes. I've been feeling weak. And who is this man? He will. He can you put the palm wine tapa. Uh, are you sure about this? Am I or no for nothing? I have spies. My main job as a no is to protect Igwe before other things. Well, then we must arrest him immediately. Igwe, not this afternoon. We may meet some resistance. We don't want to lose the precious lives of our men in this exercise. We must arrest him when he least expect it. So let it be early tomorrow morning. We'll snatch him from his bed. He will. You must strategize. Mm. You must not breathe a word of this. Ah, he will. Am I a child? Even the men that will arrest him early tomorrow morning will not be aware 
of the oppression until the same tomorrow morning. Very good. Very good. Hey, Ike Chuko. Oh no. You will. Do you know if it had not been you who was reporting this thing to me, I would never have believed it. Hey! I can't believe you are here. You have always said you would not come to the village even if I was there. Huh? Everything changes in me. Mm -hmm. People do too. Mm. So why are you here? Okay, now that you are here, are you happy? Happiness is not what I look for. Mm -hmm. So why are you here? Wake up from your sleep. <sighs> Lucy, your voice has changed. You can't talk to me like that. Lucy, this is somebody else's voice. Lucy! Lucy! I can't see you anymore! Lucy! Lucy! Wake up, you fool! No, no, Lucy. Wake up, you treacherous idiot! Lucy. Today is your doom day. I knew it, Lucy. You will not talk to me like that. Who are, who are you people? Who sent you? Stop! What are you doing? What are you doing? Why? Who, what did I do? What did I do? Ah! They want to give me up! They have sent them to give me up! Oh no, oh God will not forgive you! They want to give me up! God will not forgive you! My children, listen, no, listen! No, no. Respect my no, old no. age! And tell me what my son has done to you people. Look. You hear? Were well, you told to, to take him to the bush and kill him? Tell me, eh? eh? Tell him that is the case. You have to be prepared to kill two people, mother and child. No. Why don't you me, oh man? You were sent to bring your son to the palace. Yes. <laughs> By the way. Hi. To bring and not to drag him. But you are dragging him like a common criminal. Eh? Leave him. Uh, let him walk with his two legs. Leave me. Leave me all. Leave me all. You must come Leave me all. Leave me all. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Go to the palace. Let's go to the palace. Leave me. Let him walk with his two legs. No. Leave him. Let him walk with his two legs. Don't drag him. Listen, woman. Our holders does not include exchanging words with you. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Look at what you're doing to your fellow man. Huh? Is it good making me fat like a lunatic? Is it good? Is it good? I'm a graduate. Is it good? Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. What is that? I'm going with my son. Um, uh, uh, Why? Your son is under arrest and you cannot go in with him. Is it good police? Mama, since you know too much, that the Igwe cannot take law into his own hands. Then you should enter Moto Tuabo, the nearest town where there is police station, and bring police. In case you do not know, Mama, the Igwe has a native authority in this land and has the right to keep peace in this our community. I'm just going with Did my... you understand the grammar? Huh? Hey, Mama, this is not a matter of hell. Did you or did you not understand the grammar? In other words, just get out from here. I must go in. Get out before we arrest you too. And your son will see nobody to pay him visit on the day it suits the Igwe to allow him visit us. Now go. No. Go. 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 Ne pano mo koro, a chori mo tora bolo, 
You will rot here until you tell me the names of all the men you have recruited against me. Me, Igwe Osnachi Okoro. Igwe, I do not know what you're saying. These accusations are strange. I Such a stupid woman that you do not know when to go or when not to go in search of help when your son is in danger. I will not help. I repeat, I will not help you. So it is needless to come here asking me to chip in good word for your son because I am close to you as his right hand man. Mbano, Cha Cha, read my lips. I will not do anything that will make Ike Chuku's life sweet. Oh, no. What has my son done to you? What has Ikechuku done to you that you hate him? Ask so much? the Igwe what your son has done to him and his family. I don't know. Is it uh, uh, the pound wine the princess uh, gave Ikechuku so much money to supply in the palace for her? The money is there. Oh. Eh? I can go and bring it for you because you are no nah. I do not know. And I do not care. I, <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, the spirit of the late father is watching you, the spirit is watching you, is watching your wickedness. You Are you going to curse me in my house? Now get out, 
I said, get out before I call my three wives. And they'll come here and tear you up like rubber. They are not happy that a fellow woman came to see their husband. All they are waiting for is a sign from me to show that you insulted me. And they'll pounce on you. So if you know what is right for you, now get up and leave. I said, get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get we shall see when a child lifts up his father. He'll be blinded by the frills of his rapper. Yes? I brought fun wine for the princess. On request? No. Does she know you're coming? No. Then you must go with the palm wine. No, no. No. Please don't send me away. I must see the princess. You people are holding my son here. And I don't know what he has done. Nobody has told me. Huh? All I know is that the princess gave him money to supply palm wine to her. He has been trying, you no. Know? But he has not met up to complete the money she gave to him before they arrested him. And I don't know if it is the reason why they arrested him or something else. I don't know. Shut up, woman. You're shouting. This is previous gates. What you're talking about is not my business. Just don't make noise here. For three days now, I have not set my eyes on my, my son. Three days. Eh? I had to beg one of his friends, a pan wine tapper too, to climb his trees and bring down all his pan wine so that I can bring it to the princess uh, to beg her to free my son. God? Yes, princess? Who is calling the name of the princess and lamenting? I am a princess of joy and not of sorrow. Princess, I salute to you. May you live long. Please, here is your palm wine. Free my son. What's she talking about? Who is your son? And how am I holding your son? Do this. And you will live long. Free my son, because who are you? Who is she? I am Grace. Ikechuku's mother. The young fine boy who taps fine wine. Same you people have been holding in this palace. Please free him. Ikechuku has been held in this palace and I did not know. Is this true? Yes, princess. Did you ask us to throw him in prison? What? Such a thing is happening here, under this very roof, and I did not know. Strange. Very strange. Um, Mama Ike, please just go home, okay? I will get to the root of this, trust me. Trust me. No, just go. You heard her. Go. She said she will solve it. Dad, you lock a man up without even hearing from him? That's shocking. I mean, in this day and time. My dear, Ono Wu is a man of integrity. He would not lie. That is why I did not wait to hear from Ike Chuku before I believed what uh, Ono Wu said to me. But that, that is unfair. How can you do this? How can you even do a thing like this? Who even gave you the right to arrest and lock people up? You are just the ego, you are not the police. Do you know you can actually go to jail for this unlawful detention or even kidnap? 
Dad, please, just send them to go bring him out now. You think they don't know their rights or what? What will you do? Do you know these people can actually sue you? Dad, just send them to go bring him out now. Look, he was, he was planning to poison me. As a matter of fact, he had started doing it little by little. But that where is your proof? I mean, what will you present to the police if there should be any investigation to this unlawful detention? What? Except the words you said, oh no, who told you? Dad, I mean, all that Ikechiku does is to tap palm wine. Does that guy look to you like someone who needs to be Igwe? I mean, does it look like someone who actually, or who is even interested in your Igwe shit? Hell no, Dad. Just, just send them to go bring him out now and hear from him, please. Dad? Since I've brought you food, you have to appear before the Igwe now. Oh, it has pleased the Igwe to hear from me at last. Thank the good princess, she made it possible. Mm. Let's go. Hmm. You smell. You're a fool. Don't you smell if you do not shower for three days? No, no, no. To conclude my story of harassment by the Ono, which I've not been able to say since. Not because I'm afraid of him, but because I respect him as you know. I'm not a traitor. Why would I plot to kill my Igwe? Why? Why would I? Oh no, who is my business rival? And cooked up all these things. My story can be verified by the Igwe. Even his boys can bear me witness that he has beaten me up. They've beaten me up on more than one occasion. My mother can testify. The Pamwine tapas of Umudulu can testify. I just spent three miserable nights in detention for nothing. God is watching. Ikechupu. Igwe. You are free to go home and continue your business. Now, Dad, I raised the no. He's a liar and a murderer. <laughs> My dear, it's not as easy as you think. Onowu enjoys a, a, a lot of immunities. Yes, has immunity on everything except uh, treachery. And this is not treachery. This is rivalry between uh, Ono, the businessman, and uh, Ike Chupu, the Pamwam Tapa, who is good at his game. But Dad, but that could have cost his life. It even cost his freedom for three days. My dear, we thank God that we know better. I hope you're not planning to involve the police in this. Please allow peace to reign. Vengeance belongs to God Almighty. Thank you, my princess. I don't have time for trouble. I just want to hurry up and go see my girlfriend in the city tomorrow morning. Wow. Yeah, I was actually dreaming of how that morning they came to arrest me. Life is a sweet thing when you have the right person. Otherwise, as bitter as Wormwood. We poor can all know. Remove your hand from your mouth. <laughs> you know, I like you. <laughs> I like you too, Ikechiku. Very much too. You're a woman of justice. Very much too, Ikechiku. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to go. See you after seeing your girlfriend, okay? Bye bye. now and everything appears different. You pass a street in the city today and tomorrow you can't recognize it.
You're still the angel, I know. Are you not happy to see me? What's happening? I hugged you. You didn't hug me. I smiled at you. You didn't smile at me. I'm here, you're here, looking at me. Whatever happens to phone calls, you should have called me to let me know you're coming. My phone broke. I don't have any phone anymore. My love, where are you? Who came? Didn't you know? You read a lot of papers, so I assumed you already knew. Because it was all over the papers. I am married now, Ikechuku. This is my husband, Ben. I married over a year and a half ago. Ben, darling. Yeah, baby. This is Ikechuku. I used to know him way back in the days. I learned he taps good pan wine in some far away village. So what is he doing in our house? Oh, excuse. Sorry to disturb you. Please, um, do you know any cheap hotel around here? Mm, there are so many hotels around. It depends on which one you want. Okay, like how much are they? Like 30,000 naira, 20,000 naira. We have uh, cheap ones around, like 6,000. Bomgadi Hotel. Do you want to go to that place? Cheap one at 6,000 naira? Yes, sir. Hey. Cheap one at 6,000 naira. Hey, um, nah, uh, please, eh? Uh, let me just sit down here and rest for a while. I'm going back to the village. Uh, oh. Just gonna lose that one. Oh, you came from the village? Uh, yes. Ah, no wonder. Village people do not like to spend their money. your trip. I hope your girlfriend gave you a good time of your life after such a long time. She's married. Oh. Poor you. You must be heartbroken. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't want to talk about it, right? That's okay. Are you still owing me? Because you've been bringing palm wine and bringing palm wine. Hasn't the money I gave you expired? No, princess. It's okay. Don't bring again, okay? I don't want to turn you into my slave. I'm going to give you fresh money so you can start supplying me fresh palm wine starting from today. My father does not want to fire though no one his drinks, but I don't know why. I'm sure he's still keeping him around because of friendship's sake. But I'm going to give you fresh money starting from today so that you can be supplying me fresh palm wine, okay? Thank you. You're very kind.
Mother, I great. What does she want? Eh? Are you Oya? Are you still your own I get Go. No. It is trouble. What? This is trouble. Oh God. Look at her now. Greetings, my princess. Hi. I sneaked away from the palace. No one knows where I am. I just needed a place to hide. I mean, that silly prince is around and he's doing nothing but getting on my every nerve. I can't take it. I just can't take it. I just can't take it. I haven't said a word yet. Am I not welcome in your home? Igwe, the princess is nowhere to be found, my lord. be all these hours the question is why would she walk out on me how could she do a thing like that we're having a little discussion next thing she started arguing unnecessarily I told her to shut up then she walked out on me she walked out just like that why would she treat a prince like that does she know who I am does she know the number of princesses who are on my case? Does she know the daughters of bourgeois who are chasing me, asking me to be their husband? Does she know? I'm only tolerating her because you're my father's friend. Seriously. I mean, is she my match? No! I mean, this is crazy. I can't take it. I'm serious about it. I cannot take it. I hate that. I hate all that. Oh, so you think I'm no match for you, right? And did you just say other girls are chasing you? So why don't you go be with them with your big ego? Hey, 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 we need to talk. Talk with who? You? Excuse me. Hey, sweetheart, darling, come in. Come and fight for this man to know that he's no welcome in my father's house. Ibe Chuku, are you out of your mind? Dad, please forgive me. I apologize, but I have to do this, Dad. This has nothing to do with you, but I have to do this. Ike Chuku, come and fast for this man to know that his father is not welcome in my father's palace. Do as I say. I'm the princess of this land. It's an order. I have commanded you, so do it. Ike Chuku, bia? Bia no ora no fi a uruko si eba a popiko? Ike Chuku, no! You wouldn't dare. No! And never issue a village face here hey, again. You. America that we sent you to to further your education that has messed you up so much so that you neither have respect nor listen to your parents. And what is the what is the meaning of this nonsense about you inviting a peasant to fight in my presence? 
Father, I apologize for that. I mean, I did it because I was angry. That boy poured a lot of insults on me, and you have it. And in doing that, he insulted you and insulted this whole family as well. He deserved nothing better than the fat, and he got it. Oh. But Father, how can you even say that I have no respect for the man who brought me into this world? Dad, I have nothing but respect and honor for the man and woman who brought me into this world. Please pardon me. Forgive me if I've done anything wrong. My dear, then what is this madness about uh, insisting on him staying after I have asked him to go? Here's my friend. What kind of friend? Friend? Huh. You are a princess. He is a palm wine tapper. How does that play out? Let me worry about that. <laughs> America, I said it. We have used our money to train our daughter to become a rebel. I said it. I said it. When I said, let us send our daughter to a good school in this country, you said you want the best thing for her. Igwe, this is the best thing. This is the best thing. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, Mikichuku. Good morning, Princess. Ah, God, thank you for making a princess to greet me good morning this morning. Ha! Ah. Who am I that a princess should greet and wish me a good morning? Ha! Ah. Good morning, my princess. You know what I like about you? Hmm. The way you appreciate little things. <laughs> Even a simple good morning means a whole lot to you. Ah, good morning means a lot to me. Oh. Anybody that wishes you well in this life, even in a greeting, should be valued. Wisdom. I see. So, um, you have to tap your palm trees as you. Uh, my princess. Okay, yeah. let me help you with the rope. No, my daughter, you shouldn't do that. Oh, Mama. Give Mama. him back the rope. Mama, please, please. Mama, give you Mama. I'm just idle in the palace doing nothing, you know. I'm just commanding the servants and eating. At least let me help him with the rope. Give him. Your father will not like it. Mama. You will put us in trouble. No, Mama. Yeah. The princess has hands and legs. The eagle is my father. Let me handle it, okay? So, Mama, mm -hmm. I want to assist you tap and wind this morning and you are worried. <laughs> what will you do if I tell you that my heart is telling me to settle for him as my husband? You can settle. Oh. Oh. You will put us in trouble. Give me. Give him. Excuse me. Hi. I get you good. What are you doing? I love to talk to you. I love to talk to you. Love to talk to you. Let me know. God, you get you cool. You're stressing me out. Please slow down. Oh. Oh. How can you say a thing like that? What thing? That you're stressing me out? Or what? I've given you the chance to marry me. Just like that? Why are you making caricature of me? I mean it, you get you cool. I mean, right from the very day that I saw you on that palm tree as I returned to this village, royalty was written all over you. Despite your tattered clothes, I liked you instantly. I, I just didn't realize it then. So you're now making caricature of my clothes, eh? Making no. a jest of my clothes? No, I'm not. I would definitely like you to dress better. 
Why don't you wear good clothes? You you said you you are a university graduate, aren't you? Yeah, but I don't gadge well because gadging is not my problem in this village. What is gadging? Oh, <laughs> you see, <laughs> you don't understand local slang. You see, mm -hmm. yeah? gadging is dress and it means dress and. You know, like I was saying, <clears throat> dressing is not my problem in this village. I make about a thousand naira a day and I give money for Ogiriokwe. I give money for Oba, for Echicha, you know, for Ose, Pepe, you know, and other things. My problem is my welfare and my mother's welfare. So I make provisions for that and I'm okay with that. You see, you are even responsible. Even with the little that you make, you're still responsible to your obligations to your mom. Good. Anyway, I have some clothes for you, you know. I actually bought some clothes as a gift for the prince who was going to be my husband, but I didn't give it to him. I realized he was such a fool and I sensed it early. I'm going to give all of them to you. You will like it. I bought all of them from the USA, trust me. We are driving we are the clothes too. I mean, I don't even know how to dress well anymore. I I just go tap my palm wine, sell my palm wine, and buy a newspaper. Okay, Chuku. Now that you're in my life, we'll be entering the city in and out, and we'll be attending ceremonies. Okay? <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go tap palm wine. Can I sit on this? <laughs> 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 So this house is done, right? Yes. You got a little here, a little there, from palm tree to palm tree, so you have a full cake. Yes, then oh. I sell it. And buy Ugiliukwe and a goosey for your mom. <laughs> exactly. And forget to buy clothes for yourself. Not even Nika. Exactly. Here they are. My boy saw them laughing and loving along the village road this morning. I told you you didn't believe me. Now you've seen it with your own eyes. Get that boy! Run. Fire! Run! Come run! Run! Get to go run! 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 I didn't kill somebody, did I? So why has they been sent an army to come and get me? Why don't you want to come and take your wife? What is delaying you? Do you want her to run wild before you come and take her? She doesn't call me. She doesn't communicate with me. Ask her, she's here. Darling, when last did you keep in touch with me? I don't call you. 
because I don't like you. I don't love you. I just can't stand your egoistic tendencies. I mean, always ready to fight with me. No. Did you tell my father what you told me the other day, which made me walk out on you? Did you? <laughs> Mama, this big fool here said. Shh! Shut your mouth. You don't talk to a man like that. A guest in your house, and your official husband for that matter. Mama, please, please allow me to talk. Please allow me to express my feelings. Well, this man has said he wants to taste me before paying my bride price. I mean, he used the word taste as if I'm food. No, am I food? Beans, Gary, or what? He said, and I quote, I usually taste all the girls they bring to me to marry. I sample them, and you will not be an exception, whether princess or no princess. So, sweetheart, you better come visit me. Let me see if you're worth my wow. Gosh! In here. He's so full of himself. He's so pompous. And I'll be damned if I marry such a man. I am meant to understand that you run away from this palace to be with someone. Who is that person? Somebody. More men than you are. <laughs> Did you hear that? Ah, you've got jokes, you know. My dear. Ain't a man in this village who is more man than I am. I mean, your father knows that. Igwe, that's why he chose me. Dad, did you just hear that? Well, this thing here says there's no man in this Omudu land who is more than he is. Excuse me, hello? Does that include my dad? Ah, please, your father is an old man. This does not concern him. My statement is directed towards young men, not the old, no. Dad, did you just hear that? <laughs> Um, Emeka doesn't know how to talk. That's the, that's the problem he has. Um, he has a good heart. And uh, his uh, intentions are honorable. Very well then. I guess all of you want to hear my final take on this matter, right? Good. I will marry 20 Ikechukus, the wine tablets, before I marry one of this man here. <laughs> hold on, hold on, calm down, calm down. Are you kidding me? My rival is that palm wine tapper. No wonder you stood up for him when I cursed him out the other day. Ah. If he shame on you, shame, shame, shame. You know, you might be a Princess, but you're stupid. Ah! Hey, hey, let her be. Let her be. I can see both of you. You have to calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You know, have you, have you, have you, have you heard of a, a husband beating wives, wives beating husbands? That I'm not his wife. And I haven't called you wife either. And it's all right. Calm down. Yeah, I think, um, my dear, you better go upstairs. Yes. Go to your apartment and stay there. Cool down. Emeka, go home. Go home and come, you know, come down and come back. Okay? Please. Please. What is this? I have different women from different tribes asking me to be their husband. What is this nonsense? Damn it! Damn you! Nonsense! What is this? Damn you! I'm here taking nonsense from you. Who are you? Woman, these are exact words from the Igwe. Your son is deceiving my daughter. Call him off or face the consequences. And these consequences could mean arresting you, stripping you of all the land left behind by your late husband. It could mean banning everybody in this village from talking to you or buying and selling to you in a very bad case it could mean death. death yes little boys can be sent to burn your farm and your crops at night 
Jesus, exactly. Jesus, because the consequences will be very heavy. Okay, you will come back home. Come back to your normal life. Huh? You cannot just throw away your life and my own away simply because that girl has eyes for you. No. Mama, Mama, I like her too. I like her too. What do I do? Hey, since when? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The connection has always been there. Let me not lie. But you know, I had Lucy and she had Prince Emeka. Lucy betrayed me now, and I don't think she and Emeka are working out well. Mm. And you discovered that you like each other. It is circumstances now. It is not real. Mama, circumstances is what brings people together. Circumstances brought Lucy and I together. Circumstances brought you and my late father together. Mama, uh, the princess understands me. She's the one that accepts me for who I am. She does not wrinkle her nose and tell me I'm smelling because I'm a pan wine tapper. Mama, even village girls discriminate. That girl is one of a kind. Mama, that's it all. This is destiny. Yes. Why me of all people? Why choose me? Mama, why me? Mama, look at the whole village. It's me that she has chosen. It's me that her heart is beating for. Mama, think of it. That's mm. it all. Hmm. I will not leave that girl. So what do you want to do? You want to marry the princip princess? You think you can? Yes, I can. I'm going to hear that. Love Kanji. What is it? Ay. Where are you going? You can to go. Come back. Come back now. See, they have threatened to take me and harm you if they don't find you. Well, no, they have. Oh. Eh? I know you won't like it. I'll catch you. I'm a baby. I'm a baby. Find the wherever he's hiding. Oh. Give him this clothes. Tell him to dress well and come forward. He must summon the courage to come ask my father for my hand in marriage. My father will not kill him. It's all right. He'll even be happy at his bravery because it will mean to him that the future king of this land has got guards. Kings are supposed to have loads of guards. So my dear, put your ears to the ground. I know he's somewhere in this village. Find him for me, and you'll make the princess your friend for life. I am... Um, take this. This is your reward. Please use this to buy something nice and new for your wife. Okay? Thank you, princess. You're welcome.
Are you sure he will come? Yes. He will come, my lady. He gave me his weights when I gave him the clothes and your message. Good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hey, stop there. Where are you going? What are you waiting for? Arrest this man! Oh my god. He's here. Hey, leave him, leave him, just let him be. He's here to see me. He's my father's guest. Hey. Oh my god. Why are you dressed like this? Is there anything wrong with my dressing? Yes. The colors. The riots. Sorry, yo. I just wanted to look colorful when I'm coming to ask for your hand. You know, do you even know how long I've been in this village rusting? It's okay, it's okay, let's go. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Are you okay? No, I'm okay. My love, sweet love, can't you see it's true? I'll deal with you. Father, please, please, just, just stop it. Please, Father. If I don't marry him, I'll go away from this village and never return. I shall make his papers, send for him, and you marry me there. Why did you bring him here? It will not work. Because I am going to deal with him in such a way like he has never been before. Please, Igwe, hear me out. Since two days now, I've lost so much blood. So much blood. The guards who chased me the other day gave me a deep knife cut. Oh my God! They should have killed you. They should have killed you. Why didn't they kill you? Why would they kill me? I've done no wrong. I just love your daughter. And I've come to ask you permission to marry her. Oh. Ah, 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 oh my God! Ah, ah, oh. Jesus Christ! Father! Father, please help me! Father, please help me! Kichiko. Oh my God, so much blood! Father, please! Do you want it to be said that someone died in your house? Please! Gods! Gods! Ah! Should I set up and now eat your food, you know? I'm happy. I'm happy too. Oh, yeah. I'm not finished the one. <laughs> Do you care for water? Oh, yeah. Private 224. Who are you looking for in that room, if I may ask? 
You are not by any chance the princess who got him into trouble, or are you? The story filtered my ears when a mutual friend of ours told me he's sick and in this hospital. Well, I'm Princess Ife, and Ikechiko is doing very well. I'm Lucy. Oh, so you are the girl who almost broke his heart. So, what are you doing here, if I may ask? Because Ikechiko is about to be transformed into the man that he should have been. I mean, the man that he is, but has been hidden because of circumstances he found himself in. I am here to see an old friend. We used to love ourselves. It's proper for me to come see a friend when I learned he's terribly injured and in this hospital. Oh, I get it. Not happily married, I guess. Please accept my condolences, mind you. Ike Chiku has been taken. There's no need for you to plan your comeback by using her sickness to steal your way back into his life. You only saw his rocks. You didn't see the man inside him. But thank God you left him, you know that. Because in doing that, you actually created a room for me to find him. Anyway, um, why don't I go inside to tell him that you are here so that he'll be expecting you? wrong what is happening here why are all of you looking like this okay I get it you can't because mom who ran from this village out of here has been caught by my dad and she's been punished right is that it Princess, <laughs> Ego. Ego has taken poison. Ego did what? Jesus Christ! Oh, 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 oh,
six months it was just recently that she started responding to my greetings yeah my feelings did not change Ikechiku I see you as my husband The future king of this village. Until we have a son. And our son grows up to become the future king of this land. If it's the will of God, I'm willing. Look up into the skies. Can't you see that same sky that saw us pass through all those things? I've still kept our feelings burning. That same sky has agreed. Do you believe me now? If it's you. The princess of my heart. The princess of my land. The land of Umutu. I love you. I'm very proud of you. I can't believe this! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no! Mika, you're drunk. How sad. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
kings before me had their wives obeyed. Yes, and they were say, you give me a sweet nest under your legs. You must. Coming to conclusion, on this piece of land lying between the two villages of Obo and the Umudulu, I read from the paper prepared by the Council of Igwe after due consultation with the elders and influential people of the two villages. That the piece of land in question, Ala Obum, was bequeathed by ancestor of Umudulu known as Otto Kitty to his warrior Oja Dili as a reward for exploit in warfare. Oja Dili, according to history, built a hut in this boundary land where he hosted his friends from Obo who were traveling on a hunting expedition to the various kingdoms. They spent some years with him coming and going and finally Oja Dili died and his son he came back to cover the land. And his late father's friend, seeing that the Kemba was not as friendly to visitors, stopped coming. He came by later moved back inwards to dwell with his kid and king. And the land Alaobom became fallow to this day. Therefore, this piece of land still remains the property of Umudulu and has been at no time the property of Obo. Obo hunters we are just visitors hosted on this land. The land at no time belonged to my fellow Igwe's Ezioku Bondo Igwe Tote Igwe Sopolo Igwe Hane Igwe Akodeba Igwe God bless you for the truth. For bless you. Bless you too. Too. Bless you too. I have a radical question. Uh -huh. ha. Okay. You say, my people, the people of Ogbo, were hunters who were only hosted here. Hmm? Okay. So tell me, how come the Ogbo tree? A tree predominantly known for its growth in Ogbo is present and planted here. Yeah, Ogbo tree, Ogbo tree, Ogbo tree, Ogbo tree, everywhere here. Ebenine, tell me, how come? <laughs> Let me answer him. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Ogbo people were hosted on this land for many, many years. Yes, I know. Right. They planted their trees as a mark of solidarity. Oh, do I call it? For their hosts. That is true. And also as a gift to him from our land. A seal, a commemoration of that great friendship of Ojadele, Otokiti, and Obo people. A friendship kept by the ancestors. The friendship which you so much now destroy by dragging this piece of land mm. with the Igwe and Umuduru people. See? Consult your elders. Let them advise you properly. I have no time for old, rickety, crooked, and stagnant elders. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, yes. Uh, yes. 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 On your throne, Bent me. You oh, cannot oh. do more than a dead rat. You're a small boy. That's true. I won the land dispute. Okay, you man. And rather than you're conceding to me as a gentleman, uh -huh. you're just being a bad loser. May the gods kill you. Uh, eh? I say, may the gods no, kill you. Need for calling my very self, Igwe Emeka. 
Okorobia, Nkizis, the first of Ogbo, the Badus and the gods killed you. Ah, just I, look uh, around you and see whether there is any single elder with you. No, no, it's Okorobia. because they are not in support of you. That's Okorobia. They know the yes, truth. Yes, yes. I will show you. I will show you. I must show you. My fellow Igwe's empty vessels nice. make the most oh, so oh, that is true okay, that go. is true this man here is greedy mm. he wants the land because of the timber in the land oh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. he wants to cut them oh, yeah. and sell them but you lose if you talk to me like that again if you talk to me in that manner again in front of true Igwe is not you I will slap you. Huh? I say I will slap you. No, just no, 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 what is this? If my father took this, I won't take it. It's all right. Nonsense. It's all right. Come with me. We will not take it. We will not take it. I said we will take it. Mecca, you don't talk while I talk. How old are you? When were you born? How old were you during the Shehu Shagari's administration? I'm talking about how the austerity measure was applied and its effect on the economy and you're there talking jargon. You go. Keep quiet. Yes. I called you that because I don't see you as an Igwe. So I say, Ikechuku, keep quiet. If you like, be as old as Methuselah. The issue is, I am wiser than you, much more enlightened than you, and I have toured countries than you will ever do in your life. So I say, Ikechuku, keep quiet. My fellow Igwes, vigilante has never been a solution to crime in any local community. Yes. It only makes criminals aware before they operate. The solution to crime in any local community is to enforce a policy that stops any young man who has reached the age of impregnating a woman from living in the village. Ha! On our village, you're making me. Let him go to the city. Let him go to the township. Let him look for jobs there. Why would he still be in the village? Tell me. He has a point. Yeah? He has a point. What point? I'm surprised at you. The nonsense he's vomiting. Staying in the village is by choice. Because not everyone has the luck to get a job in the city. Yes, that's correct. Not everyone can afford the city. Not even everybody that wants to live in the city. Of course. So which one will force all his people to live in the city? Impossible. If you cannot 
and force a simple policy on your people, then why would you term yourself an Igwe? You see the effects of administering your kingdom without elders. He's talking like that because there is no elder that advises him. You see? Igwe Ike and the Mecca. Please calm down, calm down. It's enough. No, 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 no. Let's call a spade a spade. Please calm down, calm down. You know, I, I don't force my people to accept what I say. Is it? Because I lead them, I don't rule them. Participatory democracy in my kingdom. And that is why I call you a hobo. <clears throat> yes. H O B O hobo. Now let me educate your ignorance on that. It means you are a migrant worker, inconsequential, penniless fellow, and you're a vagabond. You stumbled on Igwe ship. We all know that. We can all see who the hobo is because he has just defined himself. Is it me? that married amongst my people that can be defined as a hobo or him a migrant like him that married a foreign prostitute what? Uh, who am I? no, I have a married a foreign prostitute no, no, wait, okay. wait. Okay. no, 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 no okay. it's a no contract wait, no, it's a no contract no, no, it's you and your wife wait, it's a no contract it's a no contract drop the suit you call my wife prostitute from today I'll be calling you hobo Igwe, drop the suit alright, sit down 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 it's all right. Sit down. We're not here. Whoa. Please. I said this man is not supposed to be an Igwe. This man is not fit to sit amongst us. Is it a migrant prostitute that marries a prostitute that is fit to be an Igwe? He's talking about.
ascended the throne after the questionable death of his elder brother, the Crown Prince. He hates us. He hates our land. He did this to spite us. He wants to make war with us. The war is fought on many fronts. As a wise king, I will respond to Yugo Emeka in a manner that will confound him. Else my name is not the way girl from the kingdom. You, tomorrow morning, I want you to summon the elders to come and see this dastardly act. To give them water. <laughs> Enough water that will quench the thirst of all of them one by one. My husband said to them, How can I give the water that will quench the thirst of all of you? When you know that I'm only but one man, and the water I brought to the farm is only for me and my wife. <laughs> they swam down on him. <laughs> And beat him till he passed out. <laughs> Who are these men you refer to? Warriors, my lady. Warriors from the land of Obo. <laughs> did, did they touch you? No. They wanted to. But they found out. I was in my monthly blood. They now gave me two dirty slabs. And raised away <laughs> calm down calm down help out with the man take the man into the car if the car cannot contain all of you then some of you have to trek the palace is very close by take the man to the hospital madam it's okay the palace will take care of the hospital bills okay all right to kill and destroy
Yes. You great. Mm. Ah. So you beat his palace guard like a dog. <laughs> yes. You know, dogs are best beaten with kicks and sticks. <laughs> you kick them and you hit them. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, how I wish you brought that Igwe Ikejuku to this palace so that he could bow before me and kiss my feet. <laughs> ah, ah. You know, this could be a new challenge to you. Mm. Can you, warriors, bring Ikejuku here so that he could kiss my feet? Of course, yes, of course. Yes. Why not? We can. It's yes. a task. We can. Yes. Yes. I hate that man. I hate Ikejuku. I hate the land of Umodoro. Thus, my wish is born out of my hatred for that land and the Kichuku. Warriors. Igwe. Warriors! Igwe! Warriors! Igwe! Can this be done? Yes. We can, Igwe. Yes, we will. It's possible. I also want Igwe Ikechuku's wife. You, 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 you. Go check and see that my wife is not eavesdropping. Go, 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 go. Complete what I started. I want his wife. Igwe Ikechuku's wife on my bed like a whore. I want to put, strike my positive energy into her honey pot. I want her. Yes, yes, yes. I want her to scream my name. Ask for more. Else, I am not Igwe Mecca. Omeka now the first of a ball. Yes. Warriors. Igwe. Igwe. Warriors. Igwe. Igwe. Warriors. Igwe. Igwe. You have done well. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. I say you have done well. Thank, Thank you, my lord. Mm. But this. It's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. This is just the beginning. Mm. I have envisaged your victory. So, I decided to call on Oyuku to get you some good things to make you happy. Yes, happy to do more exploits for me. Oyuku! Oh, you go! Bring the horse! Money <laughs> bring
Mercy, 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 mercy. Igwe! 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 These women are for you. Igwe! From But I'll show Igwe. I demand to you add you. Now, I want you to enjoy yourselves. Mm. Now, choose your spec. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> mercy, 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 <laughs> mercy, mercy. Oh uh, this Ooh. is love. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Warriors! Igwe! Warriors! Igwe! Warriors! Igwe! Are you happy? Yes! Yes! Very yes. Happy. Are you happy? happy. Very happy! Yes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy! These are gifts from your Igwe. Enjoy yourselves! Mm. What? What? Warriors! Igwe! Warriors! Igwe! Warriors! Igwe! Ignore anyone who feels she has authority over you. I am the ultimate authority here. So I say carry on. <laughs> carry on. Igwe! Igwe! <laughs> Now, what do you expect from an Igwe who doesn't rule with the stagnant elders? What do you expect? Mm. Fun. Enjoyment. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Enjoy yourselves. Take this woman. You, 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 you. You. My, my lord. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> when a man gives you a gift, you do not open it on the road. You take it home and you use it. So you wait until you go home before you use her. Now go, everyone, go.
Igwe. I can help you catch Igwe Ike and bring him to this palace. Really, I can, if you want me to. All I ask as reward is that you make me the leader of the warriors of this land and give me the chieftaincy title of Diogo One of Obo. Who just spoke? Who am I presently speaking with? Igwe, it's me now. Mbo, the palace servant. I have been here for 15 years. I served your father before you. I also served your elder brother in his brief reign as Igwe before he died. And now, my lord, I serve you. Mbo. Igwe. Ah. <laughs> I recognize you. I just wanted to be sure it's the same Mbo I know, just in case my senses are playing tricks on me. It's me, Igwe. Mbo! Igwe! You will catch and bring Igwe Ikechuko to me. Yes, my lord. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which hands? Uh, <laughs> which strength will you use to capture him? Uh, <laughs> tell me, what hand? Umo, <laughs> Umo who serves and arranges tables in the palace? Please, 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 please. <laughs> Your job is to cook, <laughs> clean, and sometimes wash dishes in the palace. <laughs> please just go and face your work. <laughs> you are not a warrior. Never will you be one. <laughs> Igwe, Igwe, don't take me for granted. I, I know what I'm talking about. Igwe, you have just started a war, and wars are fought with the brain and hands, but more with the brain and the intelligence. Will you shut up, my friend. Stop talking nonsense. War is fought with hands, and you have one hand, one left hand. <laughs> You will not work at all. Please, 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 just get out of my sight before I lose my temper. <laughs> Baboos! <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> God, you come here. Yes, my lord. Now, do you know, did Mbo drink? Answer me. No, my lord. Mbo does not drink. Mm. Maybe he took drink for the first time today. And it got so hard on him that he began to talk nonsense. <laughs> Started mis talking. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, now you get out. Get out. <laughs>
the slit. Were you trying to kill me? Were you trying to kill me? I see. You wanted to kill me, right? You! That stunt again. Cut your toes one after the other. Do you understand me? And from now I'll be watching you very closely. So This is the real deal. Yes, this is this dish to be your nice. <laughs> real. It's always good eh, to have a new thing like this. You know? This is the real deal. His Majesty. Mm. Hold on, hold on. His Royal Majesty. Ah, Our boys here. Yeah. Yes, Mo. Um, uh, I've come to seek for permission to go to the market. You want to go to the market? Yes, my lord. <laughs> Only women go to the market. But yet you're a woman. You can go. Get out. <laughs> Imagine Umbo who says he wants to fight for me. Go into the market. <laughs> Get out, woman. Go. Yes. You see, men eat meat while women like that go to the market. <laughs> that's oh my God. I want to go to the market. <laughs> Servant in Igwemeka's palace. Yes, my lord. And that you are here with an important information for me. Yes. If he sent you with that information to mislead me, 
I want you to know that I already spare your life. So just go back to him and tell him you failed. I, I come here with information concerning his household and the state of things with his wife. He's a brat. I hate him. He, he treats me with disdain and laughs at me because of my one hand. And I even wanted to give him information that can help him to catch you. But he turned it down and just kept laughing at me. He always laughs at me and makes fun of me because of my situation. And now your loyalty has changed? Yes, my lady. My, my lord, I am now a traitor. I've come here to... I've come here to betray you. Should I continue or go back to Obo? Continue. Continue. In the first place, Igwe Meka's wife is an unhappy woman. Last night, I overheard her shouting at the top of her voice and telling her husband that she wants to go. And this morning when I was cleaning the royal rooms, that woman did nothing but cry and shed tears of pain. I think she hates her husband. If you can get her on your side, she will deliver him to you, just like that. Now, on my own part, Igwe, I want to tell you that National passport. I seized it. Just as I have seized your mobile phones as well. I don't understand. Am I in some sort of prison? Mm, kind of. You see, my dear, I don't want you running off, traveling out of this country without my knowledge. You're not allowed to make phone calls either. Wait a moment. I can't make phone calls. You don't need to. I mean, who are you calling? I'm your husband and I'm here. You don't need to call anybody else. How about my folks, my siblings? Then I want to reach me. Are you out of your mind? And you're not allowed to speak to me in such manner. Not allowed. I am king. And you do not ask a king if he is out of his mind. Speak to me in such manner again and I shall have you whipped. Unbelievable. Why did you marry me? Why? To love and obey me. And since you don't love me, obey me.
Modulo. I want you to file, stand by me, as we ensure that we do not betray each other. Hey. Repeat after me. I solemnly swear. I solemnly swear that I shall start trouble. That I shall start, start trouble, trouble in the village of Igwe Ike. In the village of Igwe Ike. I shall foment trouble. I shall foment trouble in ways we have discussed in this meeting. In the ways we have discussed in this meeting. Elders of Omoduro, here before you is the swearing stone of our ancestors. It was used by my late father, the Igwe, and other Igwe's before him to seal deals and promises. Now, you shall repeat the final words I shall say, after which you will kiss the stone, and then the reward money will be yours. <laughs> now repeat after me. If I do not do as I have said, if I do not do as I have said, may I sleep, may I sleep, before the chicken sleeps. Before, Before the, the chicken, chicken sleeps. sleeps. Kiss the stone. Patience, patience. Now, you will take this money and share equally amongst you. As you can see, I didn't invite any servants here mm -hmm. in order to ensure that whatever we discuss remains utmost secret. Yeah. Now, this is your money. Take it. Everybody enjoys money, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, may I open it? I don't know whether it's uh, right? Take your time, take your time, take your time, please. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's do she they bribe fools <laughs> We know what we are doing and what we are saying must come to bear. Yes, yes. We are behind you in all levels. Yes, let us go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sell out! Calm down. Oh. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. <clears throat> you know what? I bet you, my husband, these three elders are not acting on their own. Somebody is definitely behind their recent actions, and that person is nobody else but Igwe Imeka, our arch rival. I know. I know. But instigating three of my most prominent elders to begin to clamor for autonomous communities carved out of this little village so that they can be Igwe's themselves of their own autonomous communities 
It's not a very smart way to fight me. Igwe, he wants to reduce your power. He wants to reduce the vastness of the land and the people whom you rule over. Can't you see? He wants to reduce you. A ruler over just a small village and just a small people. And when these three elders have succeeded in getting their independent, autonomous communities carved out from this our community, he would have achieved that. Oh my God, it would be laughable. That cannot happen. No, it will not happen. Yes. You know what? These three elders are very serious and very influential. He chose the best. Only God knows how much he has bribed them with. But somebody has to approve the autonomous communities. The file has to get to the governor's table. Yeah. So what if the file never gets to the governor's table? How? Wars are fought on many fronts. And wars are fought not only with guns. He has sense. I have wisdom. Let us fight and let the more intelligent he will win. It should be king. <laughs> Nice to me. My lady. I... In this entire palace, you were the only one who even tries to be nice to me. You know when I'm unhappy and you try to please me. Why? Why is that? <clears throat> Are you? Are you crushing on me? My lady, I suppose by crushing you mean attraction. I feel none of that. It's just that I can see you're a very sad woman. I'm not welcome in the garden of other men because of my deformity. So I know how it must feel. You, a stranger, being in a foreign land. I... I wouldn't feel so much of a stranger if my husband wasn't such an ass. Hey, whoa. Ha. Don't call him that. They will cut off my manhood if they knew that I had you call him that. Don't call the way. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what I meant. You see, ass means a bomb in my slang. Okay? A hobo. A messed up fellow. Not necessarily ass as in Botox. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, I made my lady laugh. Eh? She laughed. Now I'm happy. Hmm? <sighs> now you can have it, my lady. Have it. Okay. Thank you. My lady, the Queen of Umadolus is a very nice woman. She sends her greetings. Who is that? An educated woman. She read book overseas. She has heard so much about you. 
and she would like to meet you. God damn it. You were in touch with my husband's enemies. Can she help me run away from here? Maybe. Maybe, my lady. Maybe. Arrange it. I want to meet her. Yes. Yes, my lady. Yes. Immediately. Are you together at my grandmama's birthday? Eh? Should I tell you the story? Should I tell you the story? Mm -hmm. Do you want to hear the story? Yes. I went to my grandmother's birthday and I saw my kajas in there. He said, Daddy, Billy G. That's my nose. <laughs> He's a girl. Are you good? Are you straight? <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. I was there and they gave me one. Hey, that one looks like this one, no? Hmm. Do you want to taste? Oh, no, no, hmm? no, thank you. Taste now? No, thank you. I won't give you again. I won't give you again. Do you want to, do you want to drink? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to get out of here. 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 What's the sauce? I'm going to get out of here. I want to tell you the story, eh? Hey, sorry. Sometimes he, 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 he know the mess. He know the mess. <laughs> he, 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 he laughing. Yeah. I, 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 I wanted to be singing Punge Punge Nenge. Well, what's Pum Pum what? Huh? Oh, say it now. Punge Punge Nenge. Just say it. Okay. Um. Pum Pum Pum. Uh, pum Pum. <laughs> Go on. It's not Pum Pum. It's not Pum Pum. Pum Pum Go Gini. Pum Pum Kene. Punge Punge Nenge. Sing it, sing it. Sing it. Wait, hold on, hold on. I used to dance it like this. Eh? Pum Pum Go Gini. Punge Punge Nenge. Papa Pum Pum Go Gini. Punge Punge Nenge. Say Pum Pum Go Gini. You like it, you like it. I love I it. Know, I know you like it. How come that day, eh? I went to that place, eh? And they were telling me that thing. Everything they told me that place was so sweet. Do you want to drink again? Okay. Uh -huh. Wait. Let me let me fill up my drink. Oh. Uh -huh. When I was that place, that is this, this is very sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, see, see, uh, yeah. see, are you? Huh? Mm. Can you do it? Mm -hmm. I do. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. No, do your mouth like this. Do your like this. Oh. You do. Say, uh -huh. Oh. Uh, oh. I say, are you? Say, are you? What is are you? You say, oh. Oh. What's what's I? What's that? Is is it, oh? It's, it's good morning. Okay, okay. Say ayo. I ayo. Ayo. Say emejum. Okay. Say emejum. Just say. Oh, emejum. You know what it means? You know what it means? It means that we put nanny in a pool. You're laughing. You're laughing. Yeah. Oh my god. You see, eh? I'm going to get something, eh? Yeah. So if you, you don't finish this drink, oh. Okay. oh? Because okay. this drink is, the name is Gucci. No, 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 it's serious. The name is, no, 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 wait. Okay, this is that one they used to call, Isi, Isi Monkey, Isi Miyanko. Isi Naminko. Chai, give her, give her, okay. Okay, don't finish it, oh. I'm coming, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. People should not finish it, oh. Okay. Don't finish it, oh. You finish it, eh. It's <laughs> laugh! <laughs> oh, God! 
Why did you get him? From this village, sweetheart, he makes me laugh. Really? Yeah. He can play anything you want him to be. I mean, he can be imbecile, he can be man, woman, animal, you just name it. Obviously, he is so hilarious. Come on. Like, <laughs> I can't remember the last time I laughed this much. Sweetheart, you must find time to laugh, else you will die young. And my husband will be so quick to pick any of these prostitutes at his disposal. I mean, he won't even wait a second. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad you came. So let's talk about why I invited you here. kind of wine with some herbs that made him sleep. A sleep that is as deep as death. Oh. And his girls? He even fell asleep on his throne. The gods were happy to have a few hours off, so they went to see their families and their women. They'll be back later this night. What you're thinking. You want to search around, get your passport, your phone, and run away. But it's not time. The right time will come. What did you do with the Lola of Umudun? She's very kind and very compassionate. Yeah, we talked. But that was after watching the imbecile jester. He was, he was so funny. They have an imbecile? Yes. What is the matter? Oh, no, nothing, my lady. Nothing. Nothing, my lady. Tell him to set his one-handed servant, that is me, 
against your imbecile jester in a battle that's a contest and then oaths will be taken before the gods in the shrine then the condition will be that whomever his representative wins shall be under oath to do some things one he will come in public and call the Igwe my lord my lord he will kiss the feet of the other Igwe in public and he will send his wife to go and stay with the other Igwe for one week for one week that is seven whole days Igwe, come then Igwe when he sends the wife after the expiration of the one week the losing igwe will be under obligation to do one wish from the winning igwe what will that be it depends on whatever the igwe wants the igwe can ask him to commit suicide for instance he will commit suicide the igwe can ask him to abdicate the throne or vamoose from the throne and hand over to another person he will do exactly what the igwe wants and it's as simple as that. <laughs> my, my lord. What if I lose? No, 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 no. What if my imbecile just loses? Igwe. <laughs> you cannot lose. Your imbecile just cannot lose. I'll make sure of that. I'll make sure I lose to him. I will come brag make some noise it's like match fixing in football i'll make sure that your investor jester defeats me that way igwe maker will be in your hands then his wife will be sent to you she has always been looking for a way to escape so you just look the other way and let her return to her people the fuller people of guinea after that Igwe Mecca will be made to kiss your feet in public, in the marketplace. That is his own place. And then you will ask him to divide his kingdom into five. Five autonomous communities. Just what he wants to do to you. And that way, you will break his power. That way, he will be finished. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect plan. Igwe is not sounding like a perfect plan. It's a perfect plan. <laughs> Lolo. He told his wife to go to the police and institute a kidnap case against him for holding her against her wish. Email of Oma. You did well, but you can go on with that. Why we perfect this plan? This plan cannot fail. I can't wait to see the humiliation of that brat. Igwe. Lolo with the execution of this plan. Very soon, that throne is going to get too hot for Igwe Emeka. <laughs> Let's drink to the fall of a tyrant. <laughs> I told you to sit on that file that you should not allow the applications of this dissident elders seeking autonomous communities to get to the governor's table why did it get there <sighs> i am the secretary to the state government i do not work for you so you must mind how you talk to me is that clear uh, so i am now in battle both from within and from without My elders 
are revolting against me and I am mad. And if you were in my shoes, wouldn't you yell? Then for Christ's sake, yell at the people who are driving you crazy, all right? Not myself. That is why I'm yelling at you, because you're one of them. I am the secretary to the state government. I am the SSG. Mind how you talk to me. That's why I did not come to your office. I came to your house. Because I did not come to meet the SSG to the government. I came to meet my classmate. Chibo, you and I sat in the same university classroom. When these elders started their troubles, I said to myself, don't worry, your man is there. If I tell him he will throw that file into the dustbin, yes, that was the level of confidence I reposed on you. How much did they pay? What? How many millions were you bribed with to betray me? Kate. Do you understand? Get up and leave my house. And pray that I do not mention it to the governor to remove you as people. Asi, asi. I'm watching you and I'm waiting for you. If you or your governor tries it, you're seeking for a traditional war. My people love me. They will turn their farming equipment into weapons of war. Try and see. When he leaves, do not let him come back. He's coming to the gate. All right. Ebonu, leave my house. Ebonu, you will never change. Ikechuku. Ikechuku. Stubborn as a wild stallion. We heard that you went to make trouble with the secretary to the state government for passing our different application to the governor. It is on this regard we came to express our displeasure over this conduct. Please. With due respect, allow us to pursue our right in peace and within the boundaries of the law. You want autonomous communities, not so? Mm -hmm. Take it. I approve. You dissident elders are free to go. I approve. Surprised? Because people like you do not deserve to be part of the community that people like us are part of. Yes! Because we are superior and you are inferior! No. Because our community cannot afford I trust people like you. So you're free to go with your evil and betraying hearts. Only a man with darkness in heart will not support the growth and will liberate the desire of the people to have the autonomy as betrayer. You want to progress. We will not down to your tombs. This man is retarded and is stuck somewhere in the past. He's not ready to come out of it. Let us go. As you have betrayed me, so also the people who would serve under you will betray you. You say eating dog nose is good. Not so? Good. Soon you will eat dog nose and find out how it tastes. I have spoken as a crowned Igwe and my mouth is the mouth of the ancestors. Then, 
tell their sexes that development has come and her children will no longer suffer unnecessary hardship because people like you will force them to remain too far from the government. Elders, let's go. My husband, stop thinking. Victory is not who wins now. That is for who wins tomorrow. H-E-B-K. That is your new title bestowed on you today informally by your loving wife. Igwe Udo. Igwe Ikechuku. H-E-B-K. One, two, and three. <laughs> of a module. I greet. Come here. You will always be my lovely wife. You will always be my Ichi BK. <laughs> they say this community cannot afford treacherous people like that Alpha. 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 God. come here where's my crazy wife have you seen her have you seen my wife no my lord have you seen my wife no, my then go look for her. Hands up! Officer, oh, that's him! That's the man who has kept me against my will! Are you a Meta Jonas? That's the man who has kept me against my will! Officers, arrest him! Force him to release my international passport! Are you a Meta Jonas? Address me properly. Igwe Emeka Jonas, and yes, I am he. Before you start to talk jargon, I want you to know that this is my wife, and you're wading into family matters. This is not family matters. I want to go back to my country. Give me my passport. I married you. Paid your bride price. And if I say you will not travel without my consent, how is that a matter for the police? Ha! This is Africa, and we have values, cultural values that protect the family. Now I ask every one of you men here, which one of you will have his wife? Jump around the globe while he sits at one place Walking his butt off trying to put food on his family's table. Which one of you? Answer me. You're a man like me. Officers, are you going to arrest him or not? You see the kind of wife I have? She doesn't obey me. <laughs> oh, please forgive my manners. I mean, imagine how I have behaved because of the stress of a woman. Officer. This is a palace. We have food. We have wine. Different kinds of food. Come in and be entertained. And um, it's a good thing that you're not in uniform. So you can make merry with me as much as you want. And drink as much as you want. Eh? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, darling. Please go into your room and stop throwing your tantrums around. Eh? <laughs> Officer. Come, let's go, Trey. Come, 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 come. Come. <laughs> come.
gentlemen. Let's get down to the root of the matter. Why are you here? Is there scarcity of Utaba in the village and you have come here to complain to me? Because you all look like you're in dear need of snuff. That is not true. You will. I am wrong to here. You know Utaba. Obawuro. Eh? We have not come because of Utaba. Not a complain for what? We have come, rather, because we've heard about uh, uh, the, the, the unnecessary oath you are preparing to swear. Huh? Just for such frivolous cases of uh, uh, or issues. That is concerning ego and contention between you and the king of uh, Umudun. That's why we're here. Not for any other thing. <coughs> Igwe, an elder does not sit at home why the goat gives birth in tethers. So we have come to tell you, as the elders of this land, to desist from such an act, it is uncomfortable. Yes, uncomfortable. No reasonable person will go and wake up the evil spirits over an issue as trivial as Rival between you and the Igweke. I'm a GA by one day. Yeah, yeah, talking about snuff. <clears throat> ah, okay. This is my question to you. How did you come in here? Who invited you into my palace? Since I became Igwe, have you seen me with an elder before? Yeah. Have I come to any of you for advice? You think I lack wisdom? Now let me educate your ignorance. <clears throat> I have enough wisdom to go around your miserable lives and make it a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. Now, before I open my eyes, you all would have stood your miserable behinds up and left this palace. Before the count of three, else I call my warriors. Three! One time, I'm back! Get out! This one has gone over. Crooked things. I wonder if you were even born by women. Only God knows how long the egg stayed before it hatched and you came into this world. Nonsense. You did absolutely well to walk the elders out. In fact, they are crying now because the news of the humiliation has spread like wildfire all around the village now. Very good. Very, very good. They deserve the shame. They very well deserve it. Imagine them telling me rubbish that it is wrong for me to fight your king. Is it wrong for me to fight for my own respect? Is it wrong for me to fight for the respect of my people? My own land and timber in it. Is it wrong? Your king is a foolish man. And I must make him kiss dust. Anyway, you don't need to talk too much. I am from Modulo. I personally promise you that I will be on the lookout for him to make a mistake. One mistake. And then I will notify you. We will pounce on him. Then you will now fund me. I will get my own autonomous community and become the way. What kind of mistake? 
It could be anything. Maybe a chess woman, drink too much, oh, talk carelessly, anything. Though he doesn't do such thing. But I will lay trap for him and watch. Maybe he's doing those things secretly. We will catch him. <laughs> Igwe will be already. Igwe Ntwana of the soon to be created Azode Autonomous Community. That is me. <laughs> the the <laughs> new Igwe. <laughs> the new Royal Highness. <laughs> <laughs> I will squeeze him, squeeze him like this. Squeeze him all, huh? Then you know he's an imbecile. I will squeeze him this way, squeeze him that way. Then I will give him this they call headboard. It's a hammer. Hmm. Then I will clear him. Why like that? Clear him again. Why like that? Impossible. I will even hold it and pound him like I will pound him, pound him like this. Igwe. Just permit me, Igwe. Permit me to go and fight that imbecile of Umudu. Then you will know why I'm not. Igwe, I'm very strong. You will know why I'm more. I'm very strong. was the message from Mumudulu? Didn't they say an imbecile? Of course. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, who else should represent me other than my own deformed man? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Mbo. 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 Igwe. Oh. Igwe. <laughs> okay. You have my permission. You will represent me. You go eat five times a day, but stay off my palace bits. You know you're a cockerel. <laughs> shrine of Allah in the forest to meet with that idiot who calls himself the king of Umuduru. I am going with my warriors and uh, he's coming with some of his rickety elders. Yes. We have made a bet to climax our enmity so that whoever wins gets to humiliate the other person. We will swear the oath Make a bet. Nobody can back out. If I get to lose, you will 
go to his palace and serve as a slave for seven days. Well, that's part of the bet amongst other things. You want to say something? Since when did you start telling me where you're going? You can go wherever you want to go. I don't care. And if you want to kill me, I am here. Kill me. Since the law of your culture does not recognize the rights of a woman, I would treat the complaint of a woman who has cried out for help because she's in an abusive marriage as family matters. But it is family matters. It is family matters because I own you. You belong to me. Ibuakum. You're part of my livestock. Why? I paid for you. Never! Never! Anyways, I just wanted you to know what will befall you in case I lose. But the truth is that I will not hesitate to send you to Umudulu to serve as a slave because you have been a bad, 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 bad woman. Yes. Why won't you let me go? Why? <laughs> I am sorry. I I made a mistake. I shouldn't have married you. I will never do it again. Just let me go. Just let me go. We met in my country on your vacation. We got married. You told me I wouldn't have to stay in your village permanently. You promised. No, you changed. Your true self has come out. Drinking, smoking, disrespecting me in public. You even bring horse to my matrimonial home. And you even asked me to join you. You desecrated my matrimonial bed. Claiming it was your privilege as a king. I let you be. You treated me so badly that I fell out of love with you. Yet you will let me go. Please just just let me go. Please. So what? Huh? want to go so that you can spread my name with bad stories outside, not so. Huh? No. No way. No way. You will not leave this community. You will only go when you die. And if I'm alive by then, I will do you the honors of sending your miserable corpse to your miserable country. But for now, you, my dear, you will stay. The Chief Prince of Allah, welcome all of you to this oath taking. Igwe, Igwe, Udowan, 
of whom do I welcome you. HBK one, add it. HDB one, I welcome you. Ka, ka. Mm -hmm. uh, my friend, you better hurry up. No, we have no time. Igwe Meka, Igwe, Okorobia, Ofobo. I salute you. Igwe without stagnant elders, add it. Call him whatever he wants you to call him. Igwe without stagnant elders, I salute you. And I will not swear to this oath. Yes, you already listened to him. How am I sure that you will not try to manipulate the spirits to kill me if he loses? What? May the God forbid. Good. Then swear to the gods that you will be impartial and upright. That you will not try to manipulate the spirits to kill me in case this man who calls himself Igwe loses. What? Yes. Swear that they may kill you if you try to manipulate them or tell them to kill me or harm me. Swear. Oh, are you asking the oath priest to take an oath? Of course. Why not? Are you only good at asking others to take oaths when you do not take them? Swear. Okay. I will swear after that we commence. Bam. Oh yeah. Bam. Oh yeah, walk here. Me now. Ah, hey. I'll give you upper court, too. then I'll give you side court, too. and then back court. Too. <laughs> 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 Look at this fool! Why must you want to fight me? The great Umbo! The Umbo! Can you win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you cannot. You cannot. Yes. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> In the back! <laughs> What we are good about was the Asia Tanya. What we are good about was the Asia Tanya. 
Touch me, I'm going to tap Gaffa. I'll take that my organ on the top. Touch me to you. You are talking to my ego, eh? You are talking to my ego. I'm going to take a gun, die, caca, die, caca, die, caca, So she told today to run away. A day that is meant to be sent to the palace of Igwe, Ike, to serve him as part of the death maid. Uh, it, 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 is, it is common knowledge that, that, that no love exists between my, myself and my wife. You, you can ask everybody in this palace, okay? Uh, and she has even come here not once, not twice, not three times with the police to arrest me. I'm, I'm alive. I'm alive. Hasn't she come with the police before? So you see, I don't have a wife. I, I don't. 
uh, and I also think that she, 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 she took advantage of, 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 of the fact that I was going with my honorable warriors to that contest and, and she vamoosed. She, she eloped. Yes. So, so, so you see, I, I, I don't have a wife to give Igwe Ikechuku. Emeka, Ginye, don't lie to the gods. Those who lie to the gods under oath meet bad ends. We may think that the gods are dead, but they are not. So, do you mean to say that your wife has run away? I said, I don't have a wife. I don't have a wife. Okay. I don't have a wife. I don't have a wife. I have a hand. Good. Hey, John. My dear, please sit down. Here is Hafsa. You wear my car's law. She's a friend. Hafsa. Please kindly tell him how you came here and what transpired between you and your husband when he got home from the contest which he lost yesterday. I was lying in bed when my husband had tied me up to prevent me from running away while he was out. He came back in great turmoil. He untied me. He returned my passport and my phones and asked me to find my way out of the village hmm? and back to my country. He said he had lost the bet. He said he would rather die than see me serve as a maid in Igwe Ike's palace. He told me this would bring down his ego before Igwe Ike and the entire community. Ahmadiwaha. So, Emeka lied to me, even on the oath. Mm -mm. He lied to the gods. Emeka would lie, even on that death. He's not a human being. Chief Priest. Please go and tell him to prepare himself because by tomorrow at that same arena where he lost the contest, he shall kiss my feet and call me Lord before his warriors in accordance with the agreements of the bet which we made and the oath which we swore. <clears throat> I've heard you. Goals added 
Just, just, just do this for me. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> That handicapped man who serves in your palace called Mbo. Mbo? Yes. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him since he lost the battle. My guess is that he must have gone far into hiding to prevent my wrath for losing. <laughs> and your wife, Afisat. Afsat's gone since yesterday. I'm sure she's going to root her country by now. If she's not there, probably. <laughs> Igwe. Yes. As I am speaking with you, your wife and Mbo are in Igwe Ike's place. Mbo did not lose the contest by weakness as you thought. It was all planned between Igweike and Mbo. Yes. Yes. Your wife, Afisat, she has been an ally to Igweike and his wife. She visited them she and Mbo. Yes. Yes. You were betrayed by Umbo because you laughed at him when he suggested he should help you. And you said, how can a man with a disfigured hand fight for me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a robot on your boo. I'm a rock of warrior. I'm a rock of boo. Then I got a rock of boo. I do it. I do it. What's the door? What's the door? Ahmed said there was no way out except I do the lowering act of kissing Ikejuku's feet to fear Akwa. God forbid it. God forbid it. Igwe, why don't we attack and kill the chief priest? Then there will be no one to summon the gods if you do not keep the oath.
happening? What is this? This, this, this is the place. It's not the place. What? There, there, there was red ropes here the first time we came here. Warriors. Wonderful. I don't think we came to the right place. This, I told you, the, we've always come to the... Let us leave. There is nothing here. This is this the, the place. place. Then where is the shrine? Warriors, warriors. Let's go. That's good. Let's go. There's no sign of a shrine here. We don't have the wood. We have never had the wood. We don't have the wood. We don't have the wood. I don't know what I was doing, what I do, but I don't know why not. Click, click, and click, move, do that, do that, do that. Second to none. You're welcome. I am so happy you're here. Yes. I don't want to waste time, okay? You see, we have a problem. Umodulu wants to supersede us. And we will not take it. Because we are greater. Yes. You see? Some authorities say we must bow down to Umodulu and I don't want it. I also know you don't want it. So you see, it's not only my problem, it's your problem as well. So my elders, I need your advice. What do we do? <laughs> Our beloved king, Iguai. <laughs> ah. So, you need our advice? Of course. <laughs> of course. Elders, you get your advice. Go to the hotel. What? Yes. Ugonam. Ujan. Ujan. Atu fo on kiren ka ukata. Bo si aja. Acho bia. Bua ke hunu kan do koko. Ujan, Ujan. Please calm down. Uh, calm down. L let's go inside. It's okay. Tell him 
have gold. Kiss. His feet at the boundary of our two villages. Tomorrow. Igweike, Igweike, come forward. Stand there. Emeka, come forward. There. Kiss his feet in accordance with the bed and oath taken. You will go down on your knees, kiss his feet, then call him my lord, and I wait for whatever else he wishes you to do.
when the three of you let me rest? I wonder I had enough trouble. We've reconsidered our decision to be against you in all things. We have come to talk things over with you with a view of making peace. <laughs> Let's go inside and talk. Betrayed your king. But you are forgiven. However, you will no longer work in the palace. Instead, you are now free to return back to your home and invest the money that was given to you by Ibuike. Hmm? We thank you immensely because by your help, the tyrant has been removed from us as king or Igwe or uh, whatever he call himself. Huh? That's an act of God. Yes. An act of God indeed. <laughs> yes. Um, furthermore, we shall now be at peace with our neighbors. I mean, the people, the land and the king of the kingdom. Huh? As to who succeeds the mega? His uncle here whom he chased out of the palace. He disgraced him out of the palace and treated him like a leper before all of us. Mm -hmm. Omer oh, oh, huh? Never. He will mind the throne for now. Yes, pending the time the Council of Elders will meet and take a decision on whether he will continue as king or another person huh? mm -hmm. crowned in this place. Okay, they come. Yeah. One year. One year. Tino 